Okay, naming is different than 2A. Where 2A, here's what you learned. You learned if it's ionic, uh, don't name subscripts. So think of uh, magnesium chloride, MgCl2. You don't say magnesium dichloride. However, you learn if it's molecular, which is covalent, then you name subscripts. So for example, carbon dioxide, CO2, you don't say carbon oxide. So the problem with the transition metals, you do both. So in the brackets, you consider it molecular where you name all subscripts. So this is bis-ethylene-diamine uh, di-nitrido-N. So you, you're naming these two right there. So that goes with this. Oh, uh, my arrow got too long. OK, there. However, outside the subscripts, those are ionic bonds. So this uh, here, it's a counterion and it's ionically balancing the charge of what's in the brackets. So here, you don't name this stuff. Uh, an example of that would be Na2SO4. You don't say disodium sulfate. You say sodium sulfate. And you're supposed to think, oh, obviously this is plus one, that's minus two, so it has to have a two there. That's the kind of reasoning here with everything outside the brackets. Is that okay? Yeah. So again, here, name these subscripts. When you get outside the brackets, don't name subscripts anymore because they have to do with counter -ion.